I am beyond war We let them arms pour Type of ammunition they came and got Saddam for Got the bomb roar Need products straight to me I chop and break up keys Cop and rape the peas Heavy at your connect when I'm cop and wait the rock I ain't Welcome got to a piss but I got it uh, must know uh, this is going to be another review or a one of my first reviews in a long time uh, of wet shaving products um, you know I started this channel sort of with a real emphasis on wet shaving uh, and I'm actually the first video on this channel was about wet shaving and you know I just sort of got a little bit a little bit bored of I guess what was going on there um, I was a big contributor to the badger and blade website and eventually when I really started focusing more on fragrances, part of the reason was because there just weren't that many artisan brands um, making exciting shaving gear, in my opinion. You know, there was a few, you know, there was Mama Bears, um, like soaps. Um, there were definitely a few brands out there doing their thing. So I don't want to make it seem like there was there was nothing, but it just was, there was maybe six or seven. And there just wasn't much to me at the time that was exciting. There was much more going on sort of in the fragrance world but evidently you know I've recently sort of checked back and there has been a legit explosion uh, of these artists and brands making really high quality wet shaving uh, software and hardware and I've kept my ear to the ground and I, I'm going to start presenting the best of the best of these brands to you folks um, hopefully a couple times a month and because there are so many you know it's it's hard for the average Joe to know which houses are worth checking out so I'm going to try to take care of that uh, for you and over the past three months I've either purchased or been sent just a bunch of products from these artists and houses and we're going to talk through some of the brands and see what's worthwhile and the brand that we're going to start with today is one called Phoenix Accoutrement and I reached out to them because I kept hearing that they were really blurring the line between handmade sort of high-end indie fragrances and traditional wet shaving software and that perked my ears all the way up and I knew I had to give their stuff a try so I reached out to them and I was thrilled to find out they not only know who I was but were fans of my work uh, in terms of the channel and that's awesome it makes me feel really good uh, and they sent me a lot of stuff you know four full bottles of aftershave uh, that are allen block and a couple of aftershave samples now this is a brand started by two people francis and hodges francis grew up on a farm she had an inventor father her father created a product called the dry hoof solution for horses feet and that taught her how to fill bottles do labels packaging and eventually she started a soap making business called pedal pan pedal pusher fancies she took all that knowledge to this company hodges also came up making different products his first was a topical uh, solution called nomas which was supposed to eliminate the itch after a bug bite eventually he started making all kind of products uh, he has a podcast out called mustache and blade as well as a blog uh, called how to grow a mustache now all of the products that i'm going to talk to you guys about are available on their website they also sell a bunch of other great indie brands on there as well. Their stuff ranges uh, from about $20 to $25 that we're talking about today. And my God, are they worth it. Um, so again, let's go through the products. Now, first off, let me say that I probably have 20 aftershaves. And none of them are even close, close, in my opinion, high quality enough to make me put down my niche fragrances, my Nasamato, my Zerzhov, my Bond number no. 9 uh, for the day and wear just that aftershave. None of them do that. And I'm not going to lie, these don't quite me get, get me exactly there either, but my God, are they close. And I mean, the staying power and quality on these is just insane. And I do mean really insane. So the first thing they want to set, they sent me, or the first thing I want to talk about. Um, so I probably have 10 or 11 Bay Rums. I'm just not a huge fan of Bay Rum because I've seen so many. But they did send me their Bay Rum. And you can just see this packaging is beautiful. Um, classical Bay Rum, Phoenix Artisan, Accoutrements, uh, beautiful uh, dabber 
uh, top. And I have to tell you guys, for a Bay Rum, this is one of the best Bay Rums that I have ever smelled in my life. And this one just lasts and lasts and lasts. It has alum in it to help soothe burn uh, from wet shaving as glycerin. And they used 10 different essential oils to give you that real Bay Rum uh, feel. This one is just clovey. It's deep, it's dark, you get the bay, you get the rum, the bay leaf, you get the rum. It's really a really gorgeous bay rum scent. And if you are a wet shaver who likes bay rum, honestly, I've smelled all of them pretty much. I love Captain's Choice, I love all of them. You know, these are right up there with the best I've ever smelled. So give bay rum a real look. Now this one here is called Sangre de Drago which means a dragon's blood. By the way, I love the way these are packaged. They kind of, to me, look like, um, I guess, half pints you get in a liquor store, uh, but I just love it. And I love the art on the um, bottle, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement. This aftershave and cologne, Sacre de Drago. This one has sandalwood and oud. And for me, dragon's blood, uh, aftershave or shaving products usually to me i don't know what what they mean they're sort of just a shave a term that um, shaving companies have taken to make a certain scent um, and they sort of freestyle i feel like when they make that scent but dragon's blood is actually uh, a, a thick sap found in the amazonian rainforest and it's supposed to be a very effective herbal medicine. And the notes on this are sandalwood, dragon's blood, oud, benzoin, tonka, linole wood, spruce, hemlock, amaris, tobacco, absolute. And then it also has orange blossom water, alum, and aloe vera. So this is more than just making sure you smell good. It's also making sure that your face feels good. And this is an excellent, excellent aftershave. Uh, it's not going to drag out. Again, this is one that lasts on me six, seven hours. So definitely one worth checking out. Next up is their, um, their sandalwood interpretation and sandalwood is something with me you really have to be careful with because i have two sort of sandalwood holy grail scents dries van noten by frederick mall which uses my source sandalwood and richwood by zerzhoff which combines sandalwood with rose to make what is in my opinion the most decadent sandalwood scent of all time. Now, those cost $250 and $650 respectively. But brands like Trumper and Crabtree and Evelyn have shown me that you don't have to spend $100 or over $100 to get a really good sandalwood scent. So I was really interested to see what Phoenix would do for $25. And I think that they nailed it in a very different way than I'm used to. Uh, they use Hawaiian sandalwood to make what to me is a tropical scent almost. And they added just a touch of benzoin and floral to really give this some depth and freshness. Now, would I go out there and say that I'm gonna use, not gonna use the fragrances that I just mentioned anymore? Uh, absolutely not, but this is a sandalwood scent that I'd feel very comfortable wearing in the spring and the summer uh, when I tend to put my sandalwood fragrances away. This one is just beautiful, it's refreshing, it's light, it does have a tropical air to it. It's a beautiful, beautiful sandalwood scent, and I highly recommend you guys checking this one out. And then finally, aftershave wise, I want to talk to you guys what is my far and away favorite. And I think this is a, a masterpiece as an aftershave and a cologne. And this one is called Alphine. And this one blew me away. I mean, really blew me away. And the reason first and foremost is that this is one of the very... A uh, few scents these days that I've smelled that I feel like is 100% original. You know, normally I'll smell something and it will always have a frame of reference in some way. And I don't really get that uh, with this one. There's a fragrance called Altimsbruck by, um, I think the company is called Pro Proderma, uh, but it's a really, really old brand of aftershave that's just about two notes, tobacco and mint. And I think that was inspiration for this one. So I guess, you know, there is a little bit of a frame of reference, but this one is just gorgeous. It's light, it's floral, it it, it, it is, um, it's minty. It kind of smells like a cross to me. Me. The best way I could describe this is like a cross between 
um, that for that aftershave, the Altinsbrook, and uh, Clubman, the original Clubman, because it has that sort of classic male vibe, but then this light freshness to it. It's just, it's just gorgeous. I mean, this is the aftershave of aftershaves, and also understand that this one has menthol and alum, alum in it. So perhaps most importantly, this one is going to make your face and skin feel really good after you shave. And this is actually the first aftershave that I've used where I don't put cologne on after it. I like to use this one straight up and I never thought I'd get to that place with an aftershave and this one lasts hours for me as well. So pff, blown away by that one. And then I just also wanna say they've got this Allen block and this Allen block is absolutely a must have for wet shavers. Um, you're really not gonna get a better aftershave than this tiny mineral block right here. And I've probably used five or six of these. Um, and uh, at 450, I think this is best in a way in show. It can be gripped easily because you've got that rubber band around it so it won't slip out of your hand. It comes in this nifty travel case. Um, and, uh, and what you do with these post shave is after you've applied your lotion, I just like soaking mine in cold water, running it over my face, and it's sort of, um, sort of uh, the the moment of truth as far as your technique goes because if you're too rough and you've irritated your face this is going to sting like a bitch but if you've used a light touch and let the weight of the razor do the work this is going to feel really soothing and refreshing and it's going to reduce any redness that you might have and i'm going to tell you guys something that is a hundred percent true no bullshit at all Anytime I have any redness or face irritation, shaving related or not, I use this and it really, really helps. So this may be the best product that you could buy for your skin period at that price point. Um, I've talked about quite a few aftershaves on this show. We've looked at a lot of products and so I'm being very honest and upfront when I tell you for me, for my purpose and for what I look for, which is price, quality, creativity, and effectiveness, this is the best brand of aftershaves on the market. And Alfin is the best aftershave that I've ever used. Now, with that said, I have reviews coming from some of the newer places, uh, like Fine Aftershaves and Club. But as of today, guys, yeah, for me, Phoenix Accoutrement is king shit. And when I look at what else they have out there, Chocolate Bourbon, Autumn Factory, The Beach, I get really excited about what else I can get my nose on. And uh, and the place that companies like Phoenix Accoutrements is taking wet shaving. You know, when I smelled fragrances from 4,160 Tuesdays for the first time, I knew they were the company that I wanted to collaborate someday on a scent with. And I made that happen. Maxed Out is coming out this fall. And one day I hope to be able to collaborate in aftershave with Phoenix Accoutrements because no other company for my money bridges the gap between niche fragrance and traditional wet shaving as much as Phoenix Accoutrement does. Does that mean that other brands that I've talked about don't make great aftershaves? No, and for your purposes, honestly, you might like those brands better. But for me, folks, this is it. I don't think it would be crazy for Phoenix Accoutrements to sell their stuff for $50 a bottle. And I'm happy to tell you they also make razors, shaving soaps, hair products, pre-shaves, toners, deodorant, shampoos. They're doing it all, and they're doing it at a very high level for a price that really cannot be touched. So guys, I'm gonna link to Phoenix Accoutrement in the description. Go over there, spend your money on these products. You're not gonna do better, and you're not gonna do better at the price point. If you have any questions about any of these, please feel free to reach out to me or reach out to them. They'll I'll be more than happy. They'll be more than happy to help you with whatever there we can. And uh, hopefully, well, this is the, the first of many wet shaving videos to come over the next couple months. Guys, you know who I am. I'm Maximilian. Thank you for watching this video. I must know. See you guys soon. Clown, I'm a flipper. Use a picture. Miss the picture. My picture's richer, sicker. I'm a twisted Hitler. Cake to the T. Not able to see. Over these bills. Home in the hills.